It's a rainy and grungy day here at Muddy Hard Crash Field in Microhard, Washington. It's a perfect sloppy stage for some NFL football or a tribute to Woodstock 94. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this NFL matchup. The Purple Mutant Eaters go up against the Micro Hard Mutilators. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still moving, then you're gonna love seeing mutants not cold, their brains turned into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. NFL game day is on the air. Ah, oh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm gonna go get some of them extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. That's a six-yard gain on that catch. And that'll be second down and four. And that's how you run the football. First down. And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular. And the whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. Yeah. And it's first and ten. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down and six. <laughs> and he held on to that one for a first down. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. <laughs> Second down, and, he, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down in a mile. Defense was reading him like a and he punched his way out of it. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And it's first and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're gonna dump his ass. Second down and more than the QB would like. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking. It's a four-yard gain. Third down and long. are caked in blood and guts and he's looking to score gets the ball get the first down and bingo bingo i just hit that mutant bingo and all i was missing was his number for the last three plays talk about luck
First and four. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kick and shove in half? They straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico for rather to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. First and ten. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking street ball here, Briggs. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have fun. And it looks like we've got a penalty here. First and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Prim. Third down and and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. One, hot two, three. And he breaks away. That pass was good for 10 yards. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. There aren't too many players that kids can look up to at home. And he is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just get the points and let's move on. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. 
I had this guy on my fantasy team. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. Oh, my gosh! The defense of playoffs! He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. He's at the 20, the 10. Oh, what a run there! Touchdown! No one was gonna stop him! The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they had raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. Quarter one comes to an end. If they don't get it together, this game is going to turn into a rout. And it's first and ten. And this guy just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. Oh, it's a real blow to the team. The defense is relentless out there. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Oh, and he breaks free in his nookie, but open field in front of him. The 30. The 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown! Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Ben? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. 
<laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Second down and ten. Oh, the punishing hit. The quarterback goes down. Yeah, boo, baby. I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that coming too fast. <laughs> Third down and, well, good luck. At this rate, the QB's going to have more intercept. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Brandon. Get right. This. You can't hear what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. And it's first and ten. Nine. Nine. One. Whoa, and he laterals the ball to the player behind him. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's more of a downest guy than a speed thing, friend. He's running from his game, as it's clear. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't wrong. Am I going to with the vicious kill? Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments. Roid rage, like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Third down and ten. And another in. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. Harder than that. Yeah. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. Nine. Nine. One. In the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback, just like that. <laughs> Second down and a lot. And that's a hell of a 
a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell run for a yard. Second down and nine. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's in, and the defense is on his heels. It's a touchdown! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. The ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. That's not a good job. He's right at home here, taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swipe the money from the bathroom attendant. Hey, who don't do that? And it's first and ten. I was a chubby kid, Grim. My parents sent me to fat camp. My big brother told me as soon as you get there, stab the first kid you see and no one will mess with you. So I get off the bus at the camp, some kid runs up to me and stabs me. And it's first and ten. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have been what a hit that was. <laughs> and it's first and ten. The warning sound, only two minutes left in the first half. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the, the funeral expenses, that is. And they line up for the extra point. It's good.
The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. He refuses to go down. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah! And they take their first time out. Ah, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in hand time. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. First and ten. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. <laughs> Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, Good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. The Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that new... Oh, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> the offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to flop it, Grim. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Man, can I kill him? And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have... Oh, nice hit! And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Second down and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, oh, with the punishing hit. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Roundup. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to start as the teams take the field. This game has been one lopsided route. Yeah, football games are kind of like boobs. Big or small, they're both great. Hey, man, she's going to get him now. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. 
He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Second down and ten. How do you like your defense is cooked? The ball carrier saying, oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. The offense lost their last running back on the previous play. Next time the offense comes out in the field, they will have no running plays. And it's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's... I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just... Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. He might catch him. Oh, you fat loud, you... Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close. The micro-hard mutilators mutilate the opposition into a bloody pulp and come away with a win by forfeit. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's uh, not quite true, Grim. An alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game, too. Oh, 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 well, how about it? You know what? Rhinoceros? You know what? Take your medication and sit down. Let's go down to the field and hear what the MVP has to say. Don't expect too much, folks. Garbage in, garbage out, you know? They don't call them garbage bars for nothing. Yeah, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know what? I'm the greatest. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Heart Corporation. They get it right.